hello and welcome back to the channel and also please welcome me back although i'm not officially back but just in case you don't know here's an update on what's going on with me uh, on my last video i did say that i was taking a break and uh and intentionally taking a break from making customs um for the most part so i can concentrate on doing some other things and just gathering resources so i can get prepared for future customs but also uh, taking the time to actually play some games because it's been a while you know when i'm when i'm doing customs i don't really do anything else so my gaming catalog just gets backed up and i've been doing that all summer i also take the opportunity to try to work a little bit more work longer hours work a little extra just try to get some extra money um, and stop spending so much money on uh, making customs because i need these things aren't cheap um, so there's that and uh, although that's a whole nother issue in the very least I did spend the summer uh, playing some games I've been playing Fire Emblem Three Houses and for the first time and I played um, uh, Guilty Gear Strive Story Mode because I hadn't done that and I had the game for a whole year stuff like that and uh, as of tomorrow it does as of the Recording of this video tomorrow, Soul Hackers 2 comes out, and that is the game that I've really been waiting for all summer so I can play, and then I want to make custom. So as soon as I finish Soul Hackers 2, whenever that is, it could be a couple days from now or a couple weeks from now, I don't know how much content the game truly has, uh, but when I'm finished with that game, then I'll be 100% back to making customs action figures uh, and making videos for the channel. So bear with me for a little bit longer but today uh, we're gonna do uh, um, a video on what I plan on making uh, so you can see a preview of what's to come for the rest of the year slash early next year um, things are gonna be a little bit different and how I make customs so it might actually take a little bit of time for me to finish up one character uh, because what I'm planning on doing instead of doing uh, what I've been doing is just making a costume for one character and then putting it at the back of the queue and then coming back to it later whenever I feel like doing another one. Uh, I'm getting a little restless with that because uh, I've been like, oh, I really want this costume now and I really want this one, but I just made her last week or last month and I need to make other things. And now I want to start just making a bunch of costumes for one character at one time and having a bunch of stuff done at one time uh so one for satisfaction and two uh, when i have like swappable hands and heads and stuff like that if i'm making custom flesh tone it's gonna be hard to keep doing that especially if it takes me several years to finish all the costumes for one character but if i do it all at once and i can paint all of the flesh tone at once and that all of it be matching then i can swap hands and swap heads and just have that luxury and like i said the satisfaction of having everything done for this character so i don't have to come back to this character at all or at least if you know maybe they get a new costume in the future that sort of thing um so that is gonna take a little bit more time to finish any one thing and then my videos will have a bunch of costumes and one uh, Buster Customs in one video and it might take even longer, but we'll see how that goes Maybe I'll burn myself out and I can't do it or maybe it's really great and satisfying and I keep going But we're gonna try something different this time uh, But before I actually start making customs customs like just going there's a few things I have to do one I did say that I was gonna learn how to sculpt hair um, procreate putty most likely I haven't bought any yet I should be buying some within the next couple weeks uh, and then starting to learn how to sculpt hair for my customs and uh, that's gonna be a big deal and then I might even be making like skirts and uh, capes and stuff like that too depending on how that goes um, so that's really exciting. I've been inspired the last time I went to the, the craft store to start using some more um, uh, bendy wire and, and wire mesh and stuff to help out with uh, sculpting and stuff. So we'll see if any of that pays off. Um, and then I'm, I'm ready to jump into this. Uh, but like I said, before I start actually making things off of the list, I'm gonna show you my list. Uh, there's a few things I need to fix and, and update and correct. Uh, one of those things is um, 
right here. So um, we have the nebula, right? This is the original nebula from the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave Marvel Legends, right? And everything is fine about it, but uh, I don't know, maybe you can notice from the last time I made a video and you can see in my background that I've made some changes up here. I'm actually moving things around and there's a lot more room, but that's a whole nother thing. I will we'll go over that some other time, but my MCU stuff is kind of dwindling down. I don't have any MCU up here other than my in-game shelf and my Infinity War shelf and all my other Marvel figures are all boxed up. Um because I wanted to make room for all of that stuff. But in an, uh, when I was doing that, I was moving around this figure and I wanted to adjust her feet and ended up breaking off her uh, foot, the, the ankle, the, the piece that goes into the foot. So that's broken and uh, there's no way to really fix that. Um, so uh, that sucks because this is not a figure I like to buy. However, they did kind of remake it when they remade the what if version of nebula so these are not the exact same but this is this is serviceable and what i plan on doing is uh using this body and but the problem is this head does not fit on this peg it's too loose so i have to use the newer head which came from the uh in game like the two pack with hawkeye and, and and black widow and all the other heads this is one of those extra heads this fits on here just fine but this is not the paint job not not the way she looked like in volume one of guardians of the galaxy so i'm going to repaint this so that it looks like this head but then use this body and try to repaint this so that it all including the skin and stuff matches the head because none of these blues match and stuff so long story short i'm going to be remaking volume one nebula on the uh, what if body uh, for uh, disney plus what if so that's going to be like a thing and hopefully it won't take terribly long but it does it is going to be a full on custom basically um, and I think I have another one of these heads laying about. I, I think I have two of them. So I'm going to repaint this so that it ma all of the blues match. And then I'll take the other head and also paint that so that it will still be this uh, in-game uh, nebula. But it will be with the blues matching perfectly. And I might actually buy a separate, uh, another one of these because then I will have one nebula that will be displayed with the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy and then another nebula displayed on my in-game shelf. Um, and then that way I'll just have each head for each body. So that is, that is uh, the first thing to take care of. Um, secondly, let's see, what do I want to do next? Okay, let's just go into this list. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, once again, uh, I'm using Google Keep. So it's a free app, a free Google app that is, you know, keeps tabs of everything for me uh, with pictures and checklists and stuff like that. And um, I, again, this is not a, the whole list. There's plenty of customs on the way, a whole bunch of characters that I plan on making. And there's even more past that. I just just scrolling down. So I plan on making customs for a very long time. But what you see on screen here is virtually what is going to be made um, in the upcoming future. Um, first off though, uh, let's go ahead and start off with Wasp here. I've already made this Wasp. I've already done this. This is not a new custom. I have, uh, this is a video, me making this Wasp is already on the channel. If you wanna watch that video, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to be making any major changes to it, but I want to update this because one, uh, when I made this, I made her, you know, shorter, like that was a big deal because she was way too tall, like from the Hasbro build. But 
I think she should still be shorter than this. I think this is short, but not short enough. So I'm going to try to make her a little shorter than this. And then, but the big deal is that uh, when I painted this, I didn't have the gold color that I wanted. It was a really old gold, like a dirty gold paint. And I didn't want to use that on this wasp. I have a much better yellow gold now. So I'm going to repaint all of the body so that she has a more of a yellow gold uh, piece of here. And then I may uh, crack this open and swap her pin because again, I do that now. Uh, so the pin is actually black plastic as opposed to uh, painted black. So there won't be any paint rub in there. You can kind of see uh, on the inside that it's like purple. So yeah, I might be, uh, switching that out it's also kind of loose these legs are super loose it shouldn't be that loose so i might be just doing all that stuff just to fix it also her arms don't fit uh all the way into this torso so it's just kind of cleaning this up and making it the best version of this wasp that i could possibly uh have and uh and doing it that way but for what it's worth uh, this won't take terribly long, but it is on the list because I do have to repaint the entire thing. Um, so that is that. Next up on this list is um, coming back to Storm. Even though my last figure that I made was Storm, um, I really, really, really am inspired to make more Storm figures for what it's worth. I forgot to grab it, but um, what I'm planning on doing is re i've already made this we're gonna redo them so uh i made them and i did it literally like how it is on the screen where i just took this figure and repainted it uh silver um it didn't come out great actually should be sitting right down here now that i think about it yeah this is my version of that this this picture is not mine um but my version of that is is right here and the silver on it is actually you know this is actually silver the, i think that picture was like more of a gray but this is a very light silver um, i'm gonna give it a lot more paint because i only painted this one time one coat and it wasn't good enough um, there's a lot of issues with it um, and but really i'm not going to use this body mold at all um, at all i'm just i'm just not um, i don't like this body mold for storm anyway Although I've found some some new use for it for other things, for other characters. But for Storm, I don't think this is appropriate. I don't think it looks good. I don't think it's right. Um, I'm going to make her a lot taller and, and you know, make her like I've made my Storm figures before. So when I remake this, it's going to be how I've been making my Storm figures. Much taller body, uh, big legs, you know, full body suit sort of thing. And I'll still use these arms. I'll, I'll go over all this stuff, I think, in more detail when I actually make it and then there'll be individual videos. So I don't want to make this video too long explaining every single thing, but I plan on basically uh, remaking the this silver storm as well as making a white version because I did I do have the newer uh, animated series version as well. I'm not going to touch that one, but I do want to make a white version and a silver version on how I normally build my storms. But I also wanna remake this storm as well. Um, I do have the original Hasbro version, but it's on like the old body mold that they used to use. And I think I can do better now or just make a same similar sort of figure um, using current parts and make it look nicer. Um, that's the idea. And so I might end up selling my version of this on eBay or my original Hasbro and just keep my version. Um, and then I want to do the redo this one as well, because I don't like the way Hasbro's came out as well. So uh, original storm, I'm going to try to do all four of them at the same time. Um, again, making this the, the way that I currently make customs for storm in particular. So that's four figures. As you can see, that's still a bunch more here that I want to work on. I've already done this one and um, where's the other one it doesn't have. Oh yeah, that's right here. So I made these two and I do have other storms that aren't even on this list that I plan on making, 
but uh, that is that. Uh, next is Emma Frost, which based off of this, you'd think I'd be making like a uh, you know, the black one, or maybe one of the Hellfire Gala. No, no, no. So here's what happened. Um, I made the Phoenix Five Emma a couple months ago, and I love it. It's great and everything. But what you don't know is before I even made the video, like I finished the figure, but before I made the video that put on the channel for Phoenix Five Emma, uh, this happened. that happened the pin that goes in here uh in her hips whatever it broke off and it's stuck inside so before i shot the video this happened um i glued it back together i did put some glue and glued it on and i did my best in that video to not move her legs just to make sure i didn't break it uh break it again and it was fine but about a month or two ago it just fell over it just broke like the glue gave up i guess um so i'm gonna have to remake this figure so uh all of the parts that i done like her chest and her arms and her legs i can reuse them but her whole uh, lower torso i have to redo uh the entire thing because of this pin so i'll have to get a new torso and re-sculpt it and then repaint everything uh, as far as the flesh tone goes which is fine which is actually a good thing because i said in that video that i made her flesh tone way too warm i didn't want her to be this uh this warm of a color um so in the future this won't be an issue when i redo it um so there's that and then i want to um give her a different hairstyle so i'm going to be redoing that as well but on top of, like I said, I want to do more than just one figure at a time, uh, one costume at a time. I want to do this one, this uh, new X-Men Emma um, while I'm at it. So that and Phoenix 5. And then uh, I haven't fully decided. I think maybe I might try this one, this uh, this Emma, the, like the House of X Emma and possibly do the black suit emma as well um which would be this one and redo that um i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it. like i said i want to do oh yeah i am actually going to redo her uh first not it's not going to look like this but it's going to be her first appearance uh hellfire club as well so i'm going to be working on at least three emmas maybe four at one time uh, next would be black cat so this is original black cat with the white gloves and the white boots and stuff um, so i'll be making my version of that as well as finishing up and doing this version of black cat which again they've already made a figure of um there we go so th this is their the hasbro version of it but it just doesn't look how I, I like my black cats to look. So I'm just going to update this to be how I would normally have black cat look. Um, which I have my my modern black cat figure custom on the channel. So you can check that out. And it'll give you an idea of what this is going to look like when I'm finished with it. Um, but yeah, that is that. Uh, next up, we've got all of that stuff aside um sabrina from pokemon i'm gonna make at least these three and i'm gonna try to do them all right now this is anime pokemon sabrina uh fire red leaf green and then uh this is a uh, heart gold soul silver sabrina not the greatest pictures in the world but uh i plan on doing those um one of my favorite pokemon characters in general just Sabrina's awesome. I did recently buy an Alakazam. Uh, it is on my shelf back there with all of the Pokemon uh, back there. So I have an Alakazam to go with that. It does remind me just now that I wanted to buy a Haunter uh, figure. So this fi this um, costume, because she befriended a Haunter in that episode. So I want Haunter to go with her. And I do have an Espeon 
back there as well. So she'll have an Espeon for this one. Uh, so she'll be all set. All right. Now, um, Laura from Street Fighter is a character that I was supposed to have made already. I had planned on it and I started it. In fact, I have it, all of her parts still sitting back there. But one of the reasons why I delayed it was because, like I said, I want to learn how to sculpt hair. And the way I was going to do her hair, uh, it wasn't going to satisfy me enough. Um, so that's why I want to learn sculpt hair is because of Laura. So I really want to make sure I get this hair to look really good. Um, at least the best I can. And um, she'll be the big test of whether or not I learn how to sculpt hair really well. Because I don't have to sculpt hair for these other ones. Um, maybe a little bit on Sabrina, especially for, for this haircut. Um, but the other ones, I don't really have to learn it, but Laura, I want it to be perfect. So there's that I actually spent uh, two nights ago looking at street fighter five costumes and stuff for all of the girls on street fighter five and for Laura's costumes, which she has some really good ones as well. And, but these are the only two that I really care about, uh, at least I care to make, um, so her original and then her, uh, battle costume or story costume i think it's story uh whatever and then oh yes the i don't have a picture of it so i do follow the fighting game genre the fighting game scene fgc i love idom uh my favorite competitor and not just street fighter but probably in all fighting games and normally he does have a cpt costume i hate that costume though uh all respects to idom um, but I hate that costume, but when he doesn't have access to use that costume, he usually picks her 2020 summer outfit and then he does the costume code. So she takes her jacket and her sunglasses off. So I'm going to make that summer bikini Laura as well. So it is actually three. I just don't have a picture of it, uh, to put in here. Uh, next up, another figure I should have made by now and was going to is Claire um of pokemon as well i didn't do it because i didn't have a cape that's literally the the, the only reason why um uh, she didn't get made is because i didn't have a cape for her but i'm glad i didn't because i've decided to change how i'm going to make her and you'll see that uh, when i make that figure another figure that i delayed i was supposed to have done this harley quinn but that's okay because like I said, I'm gonna do as much as I can at one time. So now I'm gonna do both of these Harley Quinns uh, at the same time. And I've also just settled on what body mold to use for her and how that's gonna work. And I might have to sculpt her hair and that's totally okay with me. So uh, as long as I learn how to sculpt correctly. Next up is uh, Deantha, also Pokemon. So actually I... Um... A few months ago, this came in stock and I, I was able to, it was like right before I went on break, I was able to buy this um, model kit for Gardevoir. So I'm going to be building this pretty soon. It's super easy. It takes like maybe 20 minutes. It's, you don't even need tools for it, but I have a Gardevoir for her and i'll be building that and you can see i had that requaza back there for zinnia that i built and some other pokemon but uh for deantha she'll have the gardevoir it's just a regular gardevoir not a mega and i will be making this costume for her i don't think there's anything else for her that i'd like to to make so it'll just be this uh this version of her uh and while i'm here talking about model kits and stuff that i've already bought uh, around the same time that gardevoir came through um this sterlixia model kit from darling in the franks if you're a fan of zero two you know zero two she's right there this one um so i have a, a sterlixia to go with her but um, I do plan on making some more zero twos like her actually in the, the plug suit or whatever it's called. Um, but I'm waiting a little bit longer to do that though. I'm going to build this pretty soon. So there's that. All right. Uh, back to the list. Another character that I pushed off that I supposed to have done was Marnie. Um, I was going to do this Marnie right before I took my break. 
and I was going to do it on uh, um, as her as a child, like her regular Marnie. I might have one of them, the legs here, which is why I decided not to do it. Um, yeah, I still kept it together. So um, these are the legs that I were going I was going to use for Marnie. Um, and I ultimately decided not to because this supposed using legs like this for a girl that's poss probably like 10 years old i think this is just way too sexy way too adult way too mature way too curvy and i would feel weird um putting this together like it literally was me doing a test fit to make sure the f everything fit together and looked good and i was like ew this this would be Marnie's leg. I don't think this would work really well. So I decided to scrap the idea of doing the Marnie figure um, as a her child age. But So I'm still going to do it, but I'm going to make her an adult. So that's what this kind of art is. She's more mature. She's older. And even this one is not necessarily that. But regardless, I'm using adult body parts for all of these figures are for adult characters or teenage characters very muscular characters ripped and all of that stuff mature it just makes more sense to make them like i said pokemon before i make all of the kid characters as adults because it's just going to look better and it's going to be better anyway so those two marnies i plan on making as adults characters um, now kyoka that one is not the same because she is a teenager, but uh, I think, like like I said, these are teenager and adult body parts. So with Kyoka, uh, I think it's going to work out a lot better. Um, now with her, I, I, I'm excited to make this. Uh, I really am. But I really want to make this one and this one the most. Um, I do have a guitar one of the marvel legends guitars from the uh, like the deadpool uh, miami thing um that's perfect for for kyoka um and then the other two are just going to be you know made and again i'll go over that when i make the video uh on all of this stuff i don't know how long it's going to take for me to get this far because that's already a bunch of customs this is probably like 20 ish customs just here and it's only like eight characters um and i haven't even gotten that far uh in this list next on the list though is um i think magic is next up um, so i'm going to be doing the phoenix five magic but i'm also going to remake my i forgot to grab that um remake this one as well so uh, one of the reasons why it's one of the first customs i did on the channel and it shows blemishes there that are you know, they're still present. But I, so I want to clean up those blemishes as well as giving her arms that are uh, more functional because there are some issues with the arms that I did. Um, she also doesn't have her proper boo window, you know, her cleavage on the custom that I made. So I want to fix that as well. Um, and then I'm, I made her with bigger legs. I'm going to go ahead and make her thinner because that's just how I normally see her. So I'm just going to make them all thin. Uh, and then I might, might make this one at the same time, but I haven't fully decided that yet. I really like this costume, but I haven't fully decided that yet. At least these two right now. Um, next is my Shure Nui. I've been waiting on doing this for a while as well. I have most of everything figured out on what I'm going to do for her. Um, reg, for the most part, I think this is like a um, KOF 95. Yeah, 95 version of her. Uh, whatever is going to be easiest because her costume doesn't really change. But that's why I put these here too. Because uh, one, this is like a casual outfit that uh, I think Shinkiro drew this. So I'm going to try to make a version of this uh, for my uh, using Marvel Legends. And then this is from KOF All-Star, uh, which is a game that I do play. And, you know, getting my in a bikini, like it really doesn't really need much of an excuse. So there's that. So I'll be doing that. Um, 
Next up is, I think, Blue Mary. So um, sticking with KOF as well. Uh, KOF 15 version, which would be something like that. Um, and then this is more of her original version. And then somewhere in there, she had a green jacket. So I think that's all the versions of Blue Mary that I'm going to make. Um, I'm excited to make that as well. Um, next up, Ada. Um, I only have RE4, RE2, RE6 here, but there is the remake of RE2, uh, RE4 um, coming out next year. So by the time that comes out, I think it's what March. I highly doubt I'll be at the point where all of this is done at, at March. And then I just, you know, because I don't know what the full outfit for her remake, uh, RE4 remake looks like. So I might wait until then and then just try to uh, throw it in there as well. You can see Jill is waiting here, but we've got some other ones to do. I think the last one I'm probably going to do is uh, this birdie from Marvel vs. Capcom slash X-Men Street Fighter, the character that goes with uh, uh, Sabretooth. All right, so basically um, that's going to get be it. Um, that's going to get done and yeah, there's other ones here like this Lara Croft and and, and so on uh, Viper uh, I do have the head that I plan on use for using for Viper right here. That's the um, The nebula head that I'm gonna make my own Viper. I'm not gonna use the, the Hasbro version But yeah, that's that's it like that's a lot right there. Like I said, that's like 20 25 figures uh, probably 30 if we count like three blueberries and three Ada Wongs and three Mai's and, and so on. That's a lot. Usually I, I do 15 and take a break. This is like 30. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that it's going to be really hard for me to um, do all of this and then not take a break for, and, and play games. It's probably, you know, especially with given what's coming out for the rest of the year, uh, Bayonetta 3, uh, God of War Ragnarok, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion, right? Um, all of that's coming out, plus a new Pokemon game and uh, Resident Evil Village DLC. So that's a lot, and it's coming pretty soon. So like I said, I'm not back at the moment making figures. I'm going to play Soul Hackers 2 and then come back. But by the time I finish that, I probably have a couple of these done and then i think the first thing on that list is uh resident evil village dlc i really want to play it like I, i'm really uh wanting to play it and i don't want to wait six months before i have to um or get a chance to play it because i've been busy making customs so most likely things will slow down when i'm doing um playing those games when those things come out but i'm still going to be working pretty diligently on getting all this stuff done also have to keep in mind that i you know i'm not being supported by patreon or uh i don't have a uh, uh donations or anything like that this is all being paid for um out of pocket so i may not be able to afford to keep up with my um creativity and my output I do have a lot of fodder. Like I, I have a whole drawer of fodder right down here. I have a box of fodder down there and you don't want to see my basement. Uh, I have a whole lot of figures down there. So uh, I'll be busy for a little while, but still um, this stuff is pretty expensive to do. So I may have to take some breaks here and there, even just for that, just to, to uh, save up money to buy what I need to make current projects. But that will do it for this video. Um, like I said, there's plenty of other customs on this list that I'm not even going to go over right now. I'll save that for the next preview video. Um, hopefully there won't be any delays. And of course, this is all subject to change. I might you know, have to delay Marnie or delay Blue Mary or uh, decide that I want to make so uh, something else a little bit more urgently. Like uh, I think there's something that I'm... I'm blanking on right now, but I know I want to make pretty urgently. Oh yes, I remember now. It's Mary Jane uh, because of the uh, the Iron Spider Mary Jane. 
is coming or iron spider iron uh, spider-man's coming out and i ordered two of them so i could take the waldos off the second one and put it on a female figure and make her as the iron spider mary jane that's the plan um but it has to work if it doesn't work then i return the other one if it does work then you can expect to see some mary jane custom uh on the channel at some point in the future anyway i'm out of here thanks for watching this video i know it's just me rambling about stuff i'm going to do but i'm pretty excited i hope this excites you and um if you see something on this list and you're like hey how come you're not doing this costume maybe i don't even know it exists so shoot me a comment down there let me know what you think of the stuff i'm going to be making maybe some stuff that you'd like me to do or you you like for or like to see out of me or just my opinion on what to do to make some of these uh i'll i'll, res I'll respond so just let me know and i'll see you guys when i'm actually making videos and uh the next one will be likely the storm stuff some more storm figures um that'll be the next video and it'll be a little while from now still but i am going to be coming back very soon so i'll see you then peace